Hi guys, this is Mike. In this Cinema 4D tutorial, I'm going to go over the snap settings. What we're going to go over is the type, snap radius, vertex, edge, polygon, spline, axis, intersection, midpoint, work plane, and dynamic guides. So let's start talking about the snap settings within Cinema 4D. You can get to the snap settings by going to mode in your attributes manager and then going down to modeling. You can also go and reach that through shift M. Now we have snap settings, we have quantize and mesh checking. We're going to concentrate on snap settings today and we're going to go to enable snapping. And with vertex checked, which is the default, you can then go to say this null here and it will snap to this vertex of each point of this uh, cylinder, basically made from a cylinder. Now we have a few different types. We have auto snapping, 2D snapping, and 3D snapping. Now I'm going to go into our uh, multi-mode, multi-view. Uh, we have our perspective mode and our orthographic views. And let me zoom in a little bit. And you can see in our auto snapping how our, our, uh, our point snap, our null snaps to each point. But as you'll notice in some cases, as I move in into the orthographic view, I start moving around. You'll see that in my 3D view, it's left just hanging out in space. So if I go to 2D snapping and I'm in orthographic view, you can still see that it's still not snapping into the correct point in our 3D view, in our perspective view. So in order to do that, you would have to go to the 3D snapping. Let me zoom out a little bit in this view. So we're in our orthographic view and you can see that it snaps in our 3D view, in our perspective view, in 3D space. Now we have our snap radius and we can uh, adjust that by going the higher value which means it will be snap at a greater distance. I'll do this also in our, our perspective mode. And we can bring this all the way up to 100. And you can see the greater distance, it will snap to that vertex. Now we, we covered vertex. Let's go to our edge option. Let me zoom out a little bit. I'll uncheck vertex and check edge and selecting my null. Let me get this into view. You can see how that snaps along the edge of our, of our object here. Now if we go to Polygon, our, uh, our null will snap to the polygon of our object. And this is good for retopologizing. You'll find that to be one of the more useful uses for the uh, polygon snapping. And I can actually dial down our snap radius now to like say 50. Now we have spline as well. And I'll snap to the edge of our spline. We have axis. I think I have something else 
on spline. And we have our axis setting and you can find that it will snap to the axis center. This is also very useful for rigging as you'll add in a lot of nulls to snap to our, our uh, when you want to have controls for your each rigging point, you want to have a snap to your axis center. So that will be useful for rigging. We also have intersection. And if I go to say our uh, front view and I pull my pull my null, you can see that that will snap to the intersection. of our two splines. Now we also have midpoint snap and I'm going to take off our intersection. Midpoint will work with any one of our, uh, our objects such as vertex, edge, or polygon. Now if I, I have edge, then it'll go to the midpoint of our edge. Let me turn off polygon, I'm getting a little confusion. So you can see how that snaps to the midpoint of our edge. For polygon, that'll snap to the polygon center. And we also have spline. And if I pull this to our spline, you'll notice that will snap to the, the midpoint between each vertex of our spline. And this will also work with our, our guides as well. Now for, we also have a section for uh, work plane. So let me turn off midpoint and you get this into, into view here. Work plane, we can go to a uh, grid point, which will snap to each uh, point of our grid. And we have grid line, let me turn off grid point and that'll just snap to each of the grid lines. Now we also have guides, which you can uh, select. And once that is selected, we also have dynamic guides. Dynamic guides is pretty useful. What you can do is once it snaps to a axis point, you can also just drag along that axis. So it's very useful for getting an idea of where our, your, your access point is. And once you have it, it you, all you have to do is just drag along that, that access point, that access line. I put a link in the description to download project files. You can also go to astronomic3d.com to download project files from this tutorial and all the tutorials that I've made so far. Thanks for watching.